Hey everyone, this is Kit with Chicago Reacts today. I'm joined here with Jerry. All right, and today, actually, this is the first time you've ever seen this channel as well. We are reacting to Rim World Review Deep Space Organ Harvesting by Cesus Zintech. Is this a video game or a documentary or a spoof video, or do we know? A little bit of side A, a little bit of side B, and a little bit of side C. This is his first time ever seeing anything by Cesset Zintech. Yeah. So let us all enjoy and let's play that video now. Hey, hey, people. Seth here. Today, I'll be reviewing uh -huh. RimWorld, because it hit 1.0 recently, it was and the it's thumbnail pretty fucking me great. Off. It's made by a few people in Montreal, China, including this Ooh. guy, who wants you to buy his book. RimWorld is a sci-fi colony simulation game, which includes, but is not limited to, forceful organ harvesting, cannibalism, yes. catching okay. carcinomas from breathing in toxic fallout, and okay. cargo pods falling from the sky directly on your favorite animal. RimWorld's got it all. It's very similar in the vein of Dwarf Fortress. You generate a planet, you choose some approach appropriate colonists, which could either be useful members of society possessing skills that will improve your chances of survival, or Good. mentally challenged apes who can't actually contribute anything meaningful to your colony besides <laughs> being a walking, breathing, <laughs> shitting sack of human meat. And then once you've chosen them, you crash land on a location of your choice. The location of your choice could be a reasonable one, like a forest with appropriate vegetation and close proximity to friendly colonies, or you could land in the middle of Malaria Town, or maybe you'd like to spice things up and crash in a sub-zero ice sheet or a scorching hot desert with no Spicy. resources. Why would you ever possibly do that? Because it's fun. Your yes. ultimate goal? Get yourself a working ship and get the fuck off this planet. But surviving that long and managing the combined... Shout out to the Imperial uh, Starships of the Emperor's Imperial Navy and the, the world of 40k. Of multiple colonists <laughs> who think beating the shit out of each other just prior to a pirate raid is a good idea will make that exceedingly difficult. When starting a new game, RimWorld asks you to choose from a selection of three different AI storytellers. These influence the event and the frequency at which they occur as part of your colony's story. In no particular order, they are Cassandra Classic, who will progressively increase the challenge your colony experiences by sending a pack of alpha beavers to eat all your trees five times in a row. There's also Phoebe Chillax, who suffers from bipolar disorder. She does absolutely nothing for several months, making you question whether or not the game is broken. Then, she'll send two hordes of pirates with sappers who will dig for your defenses while all of your colonists simultaneously catch intestinal parasites from not wearing appropriate protection when Ooh, eating ass. Doctors. And then, there's Randy Random. Randy doesn't hide the fact that he's out for your blood and doesn't actually give a, a shit Joker what happens to your colony. Events will happen, good or bad, but they'll happen consistently. Randy has previously sent raids, crashed mechanoid ships containing toxic waste, and started a volcanic winter, all in the span of a single afternoon. But he made up for it shortly after by instantly what? domesticating every squirrel on the map to join my colony and eat my potatoes. Objectively, eat Randy is the best storyteller. He follows now. no set patterns and keeps you guessing and adapting your strategy. Whereas what? Phoebe lulls you into a false sense of security and Cassandra, Cassandra can go fuck herself. The game is quite <laughs> innovative in the sense that each colonist has their own background, traits, and personality. This sounds good in theory. If you've worked in a special needs school before and have experience of tard wrangling, you'll find yourself <laughs> like colonists can have traits Anywhere experience of time, hard wrangling hard work no. and having what he exceptional said? immunity tard like T tard i, I yes got it. yes okay well, yes. now it's getting fun yes. all right Politically incorrect, but entertaining. To being neurotic, depressive, <laughs> and being a hideously deformed mouth breather. Their backgrounds often mesh together with their traits and create an exceptionally volatile, unstable oh my God. human being. These are quite diverse and colorful, and consist of both a childhood and an adulthood that forms the core of their character. There's probably so many fucking backgrounds that I've never even seen them all. You can have research scientists, medieval slaves, Japanese pop idols, PUBG players, and vast grown sex slaves all <laughs> living in the same <laughs> colony. Or a character you get a choice. snowflake who, due to their pampered childhood and traumatic adulthood, can do no useful work and sexually identifies as limestone. I recommend stripping these people nude, handing them some dog food, and sending them out to the wilderness. Don't worry. <laughs> how, how they'll kind. be fine. Oh shit, she got captured by pirates. Don't worry. 
<laughs> Help is on the way. Characters interact with each other and may even love and hate the shit out of each other. An efficient colony needs a variety of skills and people to survive, as every wow. person shines in different tasks and develops them at different rates according to how much they enjoy it. A digger seasoned in mining will feel right at home chipping away iron and exposing my colony to insect infestations, while Ew. the sickly 15-year-old boy I bought from a slave trader may not be the optimal person for crafting leather jackets, owing to the fact that I've replaced both his legs and hands with wooden stumps. And you can do that. Every body part can be replaced with prosthetic and bionic parts, because... So, he's entertaining, but as a review video, I'm not yet quite compelled to play this game. Well, you know what? A lot of games he has reviewed here, like, the, like these are some stuff that, that you haven't seen. Like, uh, some of these games that he's been reviewed before in the past, like, I've never even heard yeah. of. But this looks fun to me. Well, I mean, it, it has a similar gameplay as the one we watched w with uh, the cannibalism. Yeah. But that video was more entertaining, and I thought I'd more prone to like try that game because of all the things you can do. I'm not, I'm not quite, well, we'll see. We're yeah, still, well, we'll see. We're still we'll reacting see. to we'll this. See. We'll see. People tend to lose them, whether through a stray bullet or getting picked out by an ostrich. Accidents happen. RimWorld has a fully functional body part and organ system for every living creature in the game. Parts can get damaged, scarred, burned, infected, and chopped right off. And that's about the gist of it for colonists. For the colony itself, you need to adapt to different environmental and physical threats as you slowly grow and expand. In between frets, you can even research new and additional technology, giving you access to equipment, resources, and structures that increase your self-sufficiency. You can also open up the world map and send caravans to trade with friendly colonies, take missions, and improve diplomatic relations. You can even start additional colonies, get ambushed by flesh-eating turtles, build pod launchers, and fire a dozen super soldiers dressed in power armor straight into a colony and commit genocide. RimWorld 1.0 really has genocide. it all. Side. Now Aside he's from handling food, energy, appropriate accommodations, and clothing, defense is probably your most important priority. No matter how well your colony is doing, an unexpected attack can decimate your entire base. Luckily, the AI is pretty predictable, and even the smarter AI patterns can be learned and manipulated. This leads to people constructing increasingly elaborate and sadistic kill boxes, labyrinthine trap mazes, Romanian corpse freezers, <laughs> engineered cave-ins, and walk-in holocaust ovens. Temperature dynamics no. work quite nicely in this game. So one of my favorite defensive strategies is to bait raiders into entering my base through a narrow creeping tunnel of granite. As they manage to slowly crawl halfway through the tunnel, I quickly go all Edgar Allan Poe on them and seal the entrance behind them. Since we don't want our guests to <laughs> so get cold, I tell one of my colonists to start a nice roaring fire near the exit using some oh, conveniently how, how placed furniture. We seal the door go. shut, and that's when they it's make the realization. Movie. The walls are covered in scratches. The tunnel heats to several hundred degrees Celsius. <laughs> Clothing ignites, flesh fries, and skin melts off a bone. Oh my Each God. man will dig and claw at the walls in futile desperation. <laughs> a video game for breeding serial killers. This we game is perfect. Their nails out while their organs boil. And then Randy will drop a cargo pod containing milk. The best trait, of course, is psychopath. That's a bit of a segue, but I felt that I should talk about my current colony. I exclusively recruit psychopaths because they practice what I call moral relativism. And I Good. practice what some would call an organ. If H.H. H. Holmes had a video game, this is what the gameplay would be like. <laughs> Which personally I find to be a very offensive and bigoted term to describe non-consensual organ arbitrage. Why do I do it? Because it's very profitable. A oh human God. in RimWorlds can provide you with free healthy organs before they need to rest. One of his kidneys, one of his lungs, and a free choice between his liver or heart. My colony makes every attempt to grow smoothly and weed out... I wonder if anybody would be so daring as to create... The H.H. H. Holmes video game. You Y'all know what H.H. H. Holmes was? You know? The serial I, killer from uh, the World's Fair Exposition who had a hotel and he lured people in and the rooms with no door you could yeah, get out yeah, of. Yeah, well, and, actually, yeah, cause I think there was a series of American Horror Story where they actually yes, did, 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 yeah, yeah, did somebody. In, yeah, of course. That's what this video game is like. Yeah. Well, but know. it's like, could, would any, I don't know. Would it would be so politically incorrect to do an H.H. H. Holmes video game, but... It's not too far off what this game is kind of like encouraging in the gameplay. Undesirables who mm. can't adapt to corporate culture. This one didn't dodge so well. At least he'll make a good sofa. It's amazing good. how quickly this game turns you into Rimble. a monster. Okay. Surprisingly, though, every faction loves me. 
Besides the raiders, even on the frontiers of civilization, you can't escape the unwashed horde of human rights activists. <coughs> the soundtrack is pretty alright, but Tanan keeps asking me to buy it separately, together with his book. The graphics are pretty clean and simple, and have a certain charm to how minimalistic they are. It's very utilitarian in its appearance, but still very pleasant. To close off, RimWorld is very expansive with its content right now, and can easily consume hours and days of your life. It's very addictive, challenging, and frustrating. I simultaneously give my highest recommendation and a word of caution, since I so genuinely believe my blood pressure and cortisol <laughs> no, levels not are weird. Not think it was. when playing this game. <laughs> it's fucking great. And there's always mods to fix all the broken shit. Go that play. That guy's got some Enjoy it. Get two psychic ships crashing nice. in the middle of your the base and developer. never touch that retarded shit Just ever again. The game. <laughs> oh, at least Randy sent me more milk. A warm thank you to the many members of the Merchants Guild which have been generously funding and bankrolling these videos. All right, so yeah. I think we learned something very important. Yeah. Uh, number one, uh, when you are trying, trying to uh, colonize a new world, it's always important to have diversity and include even sociopaths so that you have the strongest of defenses against those evil raiders and do not trust the AI unless it's delivering you crates of milk. You summed it all up for me because I remain still kind of just un, unmoved by this particular game. It was an interesting review video. I thought he covered all the finer points. It's not a game I necessarily think I would, I would, uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, play? Play. There you go. That's the <laughs> word. The four, four letter word. Four letter word. Four letter word. What is it? I was going to say seek out. I was going to look for something loftier. But um, uh, entertaining enough video though. I stimulated some conversation about serial killer video games. I would check it out. I would actually play this game, but the key word, the key thing for me is uh, time. That's mm. the four. I don't, you know, there are days where I just don't have time yeah. to do anything, and that was really sucks. But if you have time, or if you have played RimWorld, well, just type it in the comment section below and let us know. And if there's a fun video you want us to react to, we'll react to it the fastest way possible, and that is Chicago style. Bye bye.